have something really very interesting for you and that is we have the groups of certain objects. All you have to do is complete the table. Yes, there are some blanks in the table and some have been done for you. All you have to do is look at the image and then complete the blanks. Can you do that for me? So what can you see in the first image? I can see stars, just like the stars twinkling in your eyes right now. So let us see how many stars are there. There are four groups. So there are three different ways in which we can write it down. The first way is by adding it four times. So the number of stars is added four times. So three plus three plus three plus three. Very good. The next way of writing it is 4 times 3. Hmm, you got it right. Next, 4 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 12 stars. That's right. So now, in the same manner, we will be filling the rest of the blanks. Like in the next image, what can you see? I can see 3 hands. And each hand has five fingers. Correct. So we will be doing five plus five plus five. What is the second way of writing it? Do it please. Now the third way of writing. So how many fingers do we have in total? Good. Now let us count the groups of bananas. Yay. You have to fill in the first one. Second one is done for you, that is 6 times 3. So in total, how many bananas do we have? Very good. Now, can you see the oranges there? Can you count the number of groups? Now write them in two different ways. The third one is done for you. Now, it's time to do something with the pencils. You have the pencils with you too. So if you want, you can do it with your pencils, else we are doing it on the screen. So how many pencils can you see there? There are how many groups of how many pencils? Fill the blanks in the two ways. The third one is done for you. Hmm. So 2 multiplied by 5 is equal to 10 pencils. Or we can also say 2 into 5 is equal to 10 pencils. Now, your favorite object, the balls, right? You play with them. Let us do some grouping with the balls. How many groups of balls can you see here? And how many balls are there in each group? Find that out and write them in two blanks. The final one is done for you. So we have 3 multiplied by 5, which is equal to 15 balls. That's right. Now, are you ready for the next exercise? Because I am ready and fully charged. Hmm, let's get started. This time, we have to match the following. Can you see it on the screens? There are three columns and you have to match these columns with one another. So, let's do the one which has threes in it. So, how many times is 3 added? 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. How many times are we adding it? That's correct. 5 times. So, we are adding 3 5 times. Can you find that in the second column? Good. It's at the end of it. The last one. 5 times 3. And what is 5 times 3? It is 15. And where can you find 15 in the third column? Yes, it is second last. Second from the bottom and fifth from the top. 15, there it is. So this is how you have to match the rest of them. So as I said, we'll do something interesting. That is, we all have come across the tables of these numbers. Let us complete the table of 2 to understand it in a better manner. 
So can you see apples on your screen? Yes, in the first one you can see two separate apples. Therefore, we say two ones are two or we can write it as two multiplied by one is equal to two. Similarly, let us move to the second row. There are two groups of two apples, right? So two twos are four. Very good. Or we can call it two multiplied by two is equal to four or two into two is equal to four. Can you do it for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten for me? Now let's quickly come to the table of three. Let's complete the table of three. Are you ready? So here if we are going to see, we will see three groups. Yes. Now in the first one, each group has just one guava. So three ones are three. Or we can say it, three multiplied by one is equal to three. In the second one, we have two guavas in each group. So three twos are six. Excellent. So three multiplied by two is equal to six. Now it's your turn to complete the table in, yes, till the time of 10. Do it, do it, do it. So we enjoyed making the tables just now. But how do we use the tables in our daily lives? <music>